join us in our journey to Lynn Canyon Park, situated in the District of North Vancouver, British Columbia. Lynn Canyon is free to access and is open all year long. The hours vary depending on the season. The gates are open later in the evening during the summer months and closes earlier in the evening during the fall, winter, and spring seasons. Here we are on the road on our way to Lynn Canyon Park on a Wednesday morning. Clouds covering the sky and with an average temperature of about 19 degrees on this day. The drive to Lynn Canyon Park is about 30 minutes from downtown Vancouver. This here is Peters Road, and this sign to the right says there's upper parking to the left of us and lower parking straight ahead. Parking is $3 per hour for a maximum of four hours. There's the gate to the lower parking lot, and here's the gate to the upper parking lot. We decided to make a left into Park Road and park on the upper parking lot. We saw two pay parking stations. One in this corner and one right over here, right across the Ecology Center, which is a nature museum as well as an information and educational center. Continue along Park Road, and to your right, just before the bridge, you will see Lynn Canyon Cafe. I checked their website and it says that they operate until 4 p.m. Also, to the left of the cafe is a public washroom. And finally, straight ahead is the 40 meter long Lynn Canyon Suspension Bridge. Before heading to the bridge, we quickly took a couple of photographs. These were taken at about 10.30 a.m. in the morning. Not much traffic at this time, but it did immediately start to get busy within a few minutes. We then walked down these stairs, which leads to the bridge. And here we are. The second you take a step onto the Lynn Canyon Suspension Bridge, you'll feel the bridge move. You'll feel it slightly bounce and move from side to side. If you have a little one, it can be frightening crossing a jiggly bridge. This bridge sits 50 meters high over the canyon. If you're scared of heights, don't look down. It was too busy to get a 360 angle view of everything, so here's a quick shot of Lynn Creek below the bridge. After crossing the bridge, we took some more photos, and we then followed this beautifully wooden path that welcomed us into the forest. At the end of this wooden path, you'll come across to this map which tells you where you are and shows you the trail to the 30-foot pool and the Twin Falls. The hike up to the pool and back is about 25 minutes, and to hike the Twin Falls Bridge Loop Trail takes about 35 minutes. The Twin Falls Trail loops around Lynn Creek, so once you've visited the Lynn Canyon Suspension Bridge, you can just go ahead and skip hiking the entire trail to the Twin Falls Bridge and head straight there by following the path to your right that is alongside Lynn Creek, which is a short 10 minute walk. We made the decision to hike the Twin Falls Trail Loop first to explore the temperate forest of Lynn Canyon Park. We'll talk about temperate forest later in this video. Immediately, the path had already started to slope. At the start of the hike, the path is covered in gravel. As we walked further down, we noticed a change on the path we walked on. Beautifully wooden path creatively placed on the soiled floor. We're back on gravel ground, and over there is the start of another wooden path. And here's my daughter enjoying the rocks. What are you seeing? This sturdy and perfectly cut wooden path makes us feel special and safe, strategically placed in the forest for visitors like us. Thank you! Along the trail, we see the sign that tells you that you are in an ecologically sensitive area. It also politely says to protect the sensitive ecology in this area and to stay on the trails and boardwalks. Do not intentionally go off trail as it can damage the sensitive ecosystem.
found this PDF on the Lynn Canyon Ecology website that contains some information about the forest. This unique forest of Lynn Canyon is a temperate rainforest. A temperate rainforest occurs in the temperate zone. Temperate zones have greater range of temperatures. Places with temperate climates usually have four seasons and have moderate annual temperature in comparison to other parts of the world with tropical climates. Tropical climates have smaller range of temperatures and these places normally only have wet and dry seasons and have extreme temperatures and high humidity. The mild climate and abundant rainfall creates the ideal environment for evergreens in the forest such as coniferous trees and deciduous trees as well as various kinds of small plants such as ferns and moss. Coniferous trees are trees that bear cones and have needles on their branches that do not fall. Deciduous trees, on the other hand, are trees with leaves on their branches that shed during the autumn season. Their leafy branches help keep the air moist and cool for all plant life in the rainforest. corner we saw this dark reddish wooden bench inviting us to come, sit, and enjoy the moment. Sure, thank you. Here we are, sitting and enjoying the moment. <laughs> this artist clearly didn't have the best time. I don't think Madame Jo would appreciate this devil looking artwork on her bench. That over there is Lynn Creek, and over here are more of this beautiful perfectly cut wooden path. And as you may have already noticed, the stairways in this trail are steep, just like this one, because the travel to the falls is downstream. There's the Twin Falls Bridge. As you can see, there are fences placed all along the creek, as well as wooden railings along the boardwalk for safety. We made it! We made it to the Twin Falls! As always, we wanted to capture the beauty of one of Lynn Canyon's beautiful attractions here at the Twin Falls Bridge. Look at this unique, luscious green forest, so full of life and character. It's rejuvenating.
Here we were trying to be creative and take photos like a pro. Only a couple turned out nice, so we gave up and did a selfie instead. One step, two steps, three steps, four steps, five steps, six steps, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. She really took her time walking down these stairs. Taking pictures like a tourist! Lynn Canyon is home to many species of birds, mammals, invertebrates, and amphibians. And it says here you'll find some squirrels, raccoons, deer, coyotes, bears, and many birds. Nope. No sign of them. But I did see the only plant I could recognize. A fern. No coyotes and no bears. Thank goodness. They look much cuter on an iPhone screen. And look how tall these trees are. They're huge. Look at this. Check out nature's artwork. That looks like the root of a tree that has fallen. It looks so cool we decided to set up our camera and take a photo with it. The poses could have been better. We took some photos in the forest and took some photos of the upper trunk of the tree. My daughter playing Obby, a game she plays in Roblox. And here's another tree root, and those look like moss growing on it. In this video, we ended up walking a little too far and had to walk back. There's the path to the creek we missed. So now here we are at the creek. We decided to rest here for a few minutes before heading back. And of course, we took more photos. We intended to stop at the creek closer to the bridge but ended up walking a little too far down the trail and ended here. This part of the creek is mostly covered in big individual rocks and has less water. Let's take a look at the beautiful image taken by Marcel Wirtz posted August of this year. This is the spot near the Twin Falls Bridge. It has a mixture of sandy and rocky land with much more water that is green in color. The rocks are mostly intact and they have almost a terrace-like form. And as you can see here, the rock slopes down with some flat surfaces. What a beautiful luscious green forest! And it's kept very clean. I've seen videos where people had recorded themselves walking from behind and thought it was really cute and so we decided to do it too. I was really happy to have captured a scene like this. Excited to watch the final production, it looked like a low budget scene, not cinematic at all. Here we are casually walking on the boardwalk as if this whole scene was being filmed by a cinematographer. And there I am, pointing at something random to add authenticity to this clip. Continuing our walk, having a conversation. Still walking, walking, walking. Done. Now running back to get our camera before our raccoon takes off with it. 
We had about 40 minutes left before our parking ticket expired. Therefore, we decided to just head back to our car. We got back on the Twin Falls Loop Trail, crossed the Twin Falls Bridge, and then walked up those stairs and followed the trail back to the parking lot. The stairway up is steep, so take a break if needed and breathe in the fresh air and enjoy the surrounding forest. Or you could also dance. I didn't do either of those. My breathing was way too heavy and too fast I couldn't enjoy the fresh air. It felt like I just finished hiking Grouse Mountain, a two-hour hike, except the hike up from the Twin Falls Bridge to the top of the trail was only five minutes. I think I need to start jogging again. This is here. <laughs> this is here. <laughs> we still had some time left on our parking, so we quickly stopped by the Lynn Canyon Cafe for a slice of pizza. This cafe had plenty of seating and offered a variety of food from burgers, wraps, breakfast items, snacks, as well as some cool drinks, hot drinks, ice cream, and so on. What a refreshing hiking adventure. We'll definitely be coming back here and hope to visit the 30-foot pool in the warmer months. If you'd like to learn more about Lynn Canyon, visit their websites at lynncanyon.ca and at ecologycenter.ca. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful in planning your visit to Lynn Canyon Park. Music